I'm a fucking model, bitch. I'm a fucking model. I don't need this bullshit. I just want to fucking... Hello, Alienators. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for the new subscribers and the returning subscribers. I appreciate it, you guys. I had so much fun yesterday. I'm staring out the window to see what's going on. It is mayhem in Los Angeles. We are in quarantine and you guys are stuck with me. And yesterday I fucking bleached the shit out of my hair again because I'm trying to just like go lighter. So it got a little bit lighter and it's kind of in the orange strawberry blonde thing which is totally fine i just want to go light um uh uh what's the word i want to go like just like step by step i don't want to like just fry my hair so it looks like this i hope you guys like it i feel so weird and different it's like some i don't recognize myself on camera uh what i want to do today you guys is i've never done a video uh, just about Haley and Selena. So I think in this video, I'm going to do a specific video on Haley and Selena. Justin may come up or not. I don't know how I'm going to title it. If, if it's going to get too crazy with the energies of, of Justin coming up and Selena and Haley, like evenly, then I'm probably going to name the video Justin, Selena, Haley. But I really want to just look and see what the hell is going on between Haley and Selena energetically because, you know, Haley constantly shades her and things like that. And then Selena goes online and it's like, I don't believe in tearing women down. And she tells, she tells her fans not to, not to do that and all that stuff. So I just staged my cards. I have my coffee here. So we are good to go. We are going to do this and we're going to see what the hell is going on. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's really crazy times. Let's stay positive. <clears throat> um, try to isolate yourself as much as you can. Uh, I'm not going to the gym. I have like weights and things like that at home. So I think I'm just going to like do that because I just don't want to like go anywhere. So, um, that's why I'm doing videos every freaking day, you all, because, Ooh, you guys, Haley came up immediately. Queen of Wands. Um, I was going to do like a, a new setup where um, while I'm talking to you guys, I have another camera look showing my cards. But for this video, I'm kind of lazy um, and I want to just get this video and publish it as quickly as possible. Maybe for the next one, I'll do that setup. So for now, I'm just going to pull cards out. OK, so Haley came up really fast and let me just focus really quick. Okay, so Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin, and Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I want to tap into seeing what is going on. I have this kind of a feeling that Haley is not happy. So let's see what's coming up. Okay. So I'm thinking about Haley right now, and we got the... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of wands. This is about communication. It's about speed. Um, she is a very, she's a fire sign. She's a fire sign like me and we like speed. We like things to happen really quick. We're not very patient and we're not very emotional people. Um, I mean, I'm emotional a little bit because my, my moon is in Scorpio. So here we go. Nine of Swords, I'm gonna put them together and see what comes up. The Two of Pentacles, I'm, I'm concentrating on Haley right now, okay? And the Lover's card. Okay, so this is what she got, you guys. She has the Eight of uh, Wands. Then right next to it, I'm sorry I gotta do it this way because this is my new setup. I'm gonna try to do the new setup with it like panning down or whatever. So we have the Nine of Swords next to it. We have the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the lover's card. So I'm going to go through these really quick. So the eight of wands, like I said, it's about speed and communication and, uh, you know, news and things just happening. Right. And then the nine of swords. OK, so I think I know what's going on. So Justin um, was supposed to perform 
on something, Nickelodeon, I don't know, something, one of those kitty shows, and it's been postponed due to the coronavirus. Um, so that's postponed. And then also, he's postponed his tour. So um, I feel like Haley being like super, super codependent, I think they're both very codependent people, but Haley even more so with Justin. So whatever Justin goes through, she channels the same thing whatever the emotions are so Justin was ready to like rock and roll like he was ready to like start his music career again and start touring and performing and and this speed has come to a stop and it's giving them a lot of anxiousness and anxiety and sadness and depression again because Justin wants to go out there and perform and he's not going to be able to do that so but I'm focusing on Haley, and I feel like Haley very much so uh, channels Justin's like uh, mood. Okay, so like if you are around someone and you live with someone, whether it's like a boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage situation, whatever, it doesn't matter what the situation, the circumstances are. If you are spending a lot of time with someone, you do become kind of empathetic and you pick up a lot of their energy and think of that energy and that feeling and that mood of your own because you're just like around each other a lot so the two of pentacles is Haley. so Haley is oh my god i just got something something else you guys okay so i think Haley was in such a rush to get married to justin because that's what she wanted she wanted to win she wanted to get that ring she wanted to get the wedding okay so that's what's coming to me thank you spirit so Haley was in such a rush to get married and she wanted that speed and she made it happen and she did the wedding and she got the engagement and she's Haley Bieber now, right? But but she is not happy. It's like, be careful what you wish for. What she wished for is not making her happy because Justin is a lot of work and also it's really ironic that Justin has um, named his album Changes because I think Justin being so young still, it's so natural that we all go through changes. I mean, look at me. I am like a psychopath. I change myself constantly. And I think there's some people that are very, very stable that way, you know, and they just like look the same. They eat the same food, like Jennifer Aniston, not to get off topic, but like Jennifer Aniston, you guys literally goes to the same place every, every year to the same hotel, to, and rents the same room um, when she goes on vacation. She eats the same food. She has a very, like, boring, repetitive, uh, habitual routine. And some people are not like that. And, like, Angelina Jolie is, like, completely the, the opposite of her, which hence why Brad Pitt dumped her. I got with Angie because Angie is not only a sex goddess, an actress, and a writer, and a director, and she's a pilot, and she saves the world, and she works for... United Nations, I mean, she's just like a complete opposite of uh, uh, Jennifer Aniston. So there are some people that are very, very like, like steady and there's some people that change all the time. And I think Justin being a Pisces and being um, a water sign changes a lot. And uh, so what's happening is that uh, uh, Justin is a lot of work for Haley. So what Haley thought was going to be kind of easy just to kind of get, I'm just going to get married and everything's going to be great. And, and maybe he, Justin is, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say right now? Brain fart. Um, Justin is committed. Justin Bieber is committed to Haley and they are married and they are in a relationship and all of that. But because Justin is not stable, so here we go. I was going to do this video about Haley and Selena, but Justin is coming through. So I'm going to have to call it Justin, Selena, and Haley update. Okay, here we go. So um, because Justin is not stable, what Haley wanted that she got is not making her happy. It's a lot of work to deal with Justin's moods up and down, his drug abuse, his health, his depression, all of that. Um, so now she, Haley is thinking to herself, I'm gonna ask for everybody in a second, so bear with me. 
let me just explain the cards to you guys so the two of pentacles now for Haley is like yeah she's just like what, what what do i do do i stay or do i go i feel like it's getting to a point where Haley might even be entertaining the thought of leaving justin now Haley is super obsessed with justin but because she's been with him for a while and she's getting a dose of that reality and she's realizing holy shit this is a lot of fucking work i'm a fucking model bitch i'm a fucking model i don't need this bullshit i just want to fucking model and i not eat and be skinny i'm just mm -mm -mm. okay so she is getting a lot of opportunities and she's kind of put herself on the map of becoming a celebrity because she's associating with Justin and she's married to Justin. So she kind of got what she wanted. She is going to be making a lot of money if this continues, even if she's with Justin or not. So she's like, do I stay or do I go? She might go. And what this is showing to me, pay very close attention to what I am about to say. She got the lover's cards. What this card is suggesting to us is that she has options. She has options in love. So because she's on the map and she's becoming a celebrity in her own right, there's going to be a lot of dick flying on her face, okay? Not to be crude, but uh, yeah, she's going to have a lot of options. She's just going to be tons of men that are going to want her now. Nobody knew who the fuck she was. Honestly, I didn't know who she was. I used to see TMZ and things like that, and there would be like this little scrawny little girl running around with everybody with bangs and shit like that. And and I remember specifically one time this paparazzi was like, she was walking into like a cafe or somewhere in Los Angeles, and she was running behind Kendall. She's always running after people. It's really hilarious. I'm talking about Haley, and um, and she, this paparazzi guy was like, "Are you a celebrity? Like, who are you? Like, nobody knew who she was." I know she comes from a famous family, but nobody knew who she was because she was really young. You know, I guess she was really, really young. So she is, we got the 10 of um, cups at the end of, at the back of the deck. So they are married. They are in a relationship. But I feel like you guys, Haley is going to want to move on. Mark my words. I don't know. I saw this last time I read her. I think she's going to want to leave, which is very ironic because she is so obsessed. She is so obsessed with, uh, uh, Justin that I can't even imagine like she would leave okay but she might leave because Justin is a lot of work and um, it's just a lot of work okay so okay so someone is okay so let's get into Justin thank you spirit I was just thinking about Justin and you guys gave me the first card this is awesome did I even shuffle Jesus Christ I didn't even shuffle that's okay um um Okay, so we got the Page of Swords. I think that Justin spies on Selena on social media. I just saw a picture. I think I saved it and I'm going to insert it here. I saw this picture out on, on Instagram the other day where Justin is like uh, laying on the couch and, and Haley is like laying on him and he's holding his phone like this, like because Haley's right here. And he's holding the phone like this and he doesn't want her to look at his phone and then later on when he gets up you can see he's on Instagram okay so I think that Justin spies on Selena so that's the first card we got on him the second card is the Sun card all right that's good and the third card is the same he's getting the same card as Haley two four five six of swords walking away moving away leaving something behind you know, being done with tur turmoil and sadness and depression and all that. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, very interesting. There's actually no emotion when it comes to Justin right now. Let's uh, dissect the cards. Page of uh, Swords, the Sun, and the four, five, six, seven, wait, two, four, five, you guys, literally, I'm such a retard. Okay, four, five, six, six of Swords, and then the page of pentacles let's dissect he is uh spying on selena for sure he is trying to align himself with what used to make him happy 
which is his music, performing, touring, his fans. So that's what he wants to align his spirit with. Do you guys remember when I was telling you guys that it's really important when we go into that dark space and when we get kind of depressed and upset and want to kind of give up on things and our dreams and our aspirations that we have to realign ourselves with spirit somehow justin intuitively is doing that so he's realigning himself with what used to make me happy what what do i love more than anything in the world singing music making music performing my fans so he's aligning himself with that and he wants to walk away from things that no longer serve him which is awesome this is actually a very very awesome reading for justin he wants to realign himself with his music performing his fans getting back into looking the way he used to look he used to be so blonde and beautiful and just was like this sunshine right and he wants to move away from things that took him away from that drugs bad behavior um unhealthy lifestyle all of that right and the page of pentacles is about him wanting to make money he wants to get back into the game he wants to get back into the music industry he wants to get back into making millions and millions of dollar dollars so that was justin let's take a look i'm going to shuffle really good i want to say something to you guys you never want to shuffle tarot cards like this like that tarot cards are not uh playing cards they're actually like alive and conscious so you want to shuffle them like just like that you don't want to do that thing that's not how you do tarot cards so but let me just shuffle it like this which is okay i'm going to tap into selena selena gomez thank you spirit selena gomez selena gomez selena gomez thank you spirit 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you spirit thank you spirit what is this that wants to come out Ooh, good okay so we're going to focus on selena so she got the magician which is about she has all the tools she has everything available to her she's doing super well i think she's like a number one on the charts and uh then she has the and uh then she has the the five of pentacles um and she has uh four five six of wands and then she has oof, the ten of swords okay so that's selena's energy right now that's so very sad because the universe and spirit is telling her that she has everything um available to her so let's dissect the cards so what the cards are saying to us is that spirit is saying hey selena you have everything available to you you are doing well your music is doing well your album is doing well you can manifest everything you want she is stuck right now in this notion that i don't have a boyfriend um i'm lonely uh i don't I don't know if I'm going to meet someone that's going to make me feel the way Justin did. I'm just reading her energy, you guys. I'm not saying she's saying these things. Disclaimer. I am reading energy. I don't know these people. This is for entertainment purposes. All right. I can feel or hear her saying like, it's great. I'm, I'm, I'm number one in the charts. My music is doing well. My music is doing well. My songs are doing well. But... What about my personal life? What about my love life? I don't want to be alone. I don't want to continue being, you know, with this kind of like not having the love of my life or not connecting. She is a cancer, you guys. She's very, very emotional. She's very much about like connecting and that human connection and love and companionship and soulmate connection. She's very much all about that. And the universe is like, it's all available to you. You can get it. It's all in, in front of you on this table. But she feels lonely she feels left out she feels like you know right now especially with this whole quarantine and the coronavirus and everyone kind of like staying at home she doesn't have someone that is like by her side like as like a boyfriend oh my god you guys oh my god i just feel so sick right now tuning into her Whew, hold on hold on a second Oh my God, my empath just, hold on. 
Oh my God. Oof, that was really strong energy. Hold on, guys. Oh my God, you guys. She's so sad. I'm asking my spirit guides to protect Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez. Surround her. Angels, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel. Please surround Selena Gomez with love and warmth and optimism and just help her right now with this energy <sighs> yeah it sucks being an empath you guys oh my god that was really really strong energy i almost like barfed that was crazy okay so i just sent her some guides hopefully they can help her i feel better already thank you spirit guides and angels so the spirit guides and the angels want her to know that you have everything available to you everything you want is available to you okay but she feels left out. She feels lonely. She's bored. She's sad. She's stuck at home. She doesn't have that special someone that's going to be sitting on the couch with her watching Netflix while everyone is quarantined and stuck at home. You know what I mean? She wants to be victorious. And she still is victorious because she's riding on the horse. Her enemies are down below. The enemies can reach her. And she is victorious, right? But, but she still is dealing with a lot in her personal life, not having love, not having that special person in her life. And the Ten of Swords is her final card, which is like, she is very much depressed. She gets very, very, very low vibrational, very sad, like she loses all hope. Oh my God, you guys, this is crazy right now. I am super tapping into her. Hold on, guys. Oh, my God. Poor Selena. Okay, so she is very, very low vibrational. Her energy is reminding me of my brother's energy. I hope she doesn't do anything crazy. So she's very low vibrational. I When I, when I upload this video and everything, I'm going to do a, uh, a, uh, a meditation for her and just send her a lot of energy from myself. And if anyone is watching that is a fan and there are selenators, start sending her a lot of energy and love. And just imagine her in white light and hug her, okay? Just like spiritually hug her and give her hope and optimism that everything is going to be okay. So she is in a really, really, really bad place right now. She's very sad. And her mood, she's a water sign, right? It's just like, it goes like this. And okay, let's just... Uh, so we looked at Haley, we looked at Justin, and we just looked at Selena. So let's just pull a couple more cards out and see what's going on. I really want to finish this video and just tap in to her off camera and send her some good energy. This fell out again. Oh my God, you guys. I wonder if Haley is doing something to her. I don't know. I wonder if Haley is doing something to her energetically. Like if she's having magic being done to Selena because Haley is so very, 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 very intimidated by Selena because she knows that Justin and Selena have this bond that's never going to be broken. Even if they don't see each other or talk to each other 50 years from now and they see each other, they're going to feel the same way and the connection gets resumed like that because they're twin flames and soulmates. Okay, so let me just pull a couple more cards out. Look at the back of the deck, Three of Swords. This energy is still continuing. Justin, Selena, Haley. Haley is the third wheel. And Haley Baldwin is legit. The reason Justin and Selena are not together. I don't take sides, you guys. I am just telling you what I'm saying. So, Yes, this energy is still continuing. The three of swords, three people involved in a matter of hearts. No one is happy. Do you guys see the cloud? Do you guys see the rain? Do you see the three swords piercing the same heart? Three people involved in the matter of the hearts. No one is happy. Everyone is miserable. 
It's clouds. It's raining. No one is happy. All Justin has to do is dump Haley and get back together with Selena, and then everything's going to be okay. Maybe it's going to solve the coronavirus. I never. I. I don't know. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? I'm going to pull just random cards and not really think about anyone. Just see what comes up. We got that victorious card again. The death card. Ooh, what did I just say? I was like, all Justin has to do is end things with Haley and everything is going to be okay. So if Justin ends things with Haley and gets back together, this is Justin, you guys, King of Cups, Pisces. If Justin breaks up with Haley, wow, this is crazy right now. This is crazy right now. Oh my God, I love you, spirits. I love you guys. My spirit guys, they are so dope. They just always give me everything. They just always give me everything, honey. So the spirit is saying that if Justin breaks up with Haley, this is Justin. This is Haley because she's emotionless. And Haley is after his money. Okay, give her some money. That's fine. The Three of Swords will be resolved if they end it. And then Justin, because he's a Libra moon, he's coming up again, can focus on stabilizing his career, his love life. And he's going to be able to, because this King, this Knight of Pentacles, will become, become the king of pentacles, which is stability and husband and marriage material. Right now, oh my God, look what I just cut. The tower. Right now, Justin, as much as I think, as much as he wants to, he very much wants to be husband and commitment and loves Haley and all of that, he is not there yet. And he just got married way too soon. So, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, the spirit guides are saying that if Justin realizes he made a mistake and married the wrong person and just end it for God's sakes, give Haley some money, get on with his life. She can get on with her life. They are very codependent with each other though. And Haley and the magic. So um, things can resume and it can get normal because things are so wacky energetically that it's just like no one is able to move forward and there's no resolution and there's no um, closure and it's just unhappiness all around. Three people involved, matters of the heart. So we got confirmation from spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else, anything else? Let me see, anything else? Okay, 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 they wanna come out. <sighs> we got the magician again, Knight of Cups. Let's see what the third card is. Haley, the hangman, interesting. So Haley is continuously doing her voodoo hoodoo magic. She wants to keep Justin in this romantic uh, uh, space where he's just like obsessed with her and all about her through the magic. Haley, but they're suspended and there's no movement even though they talk about having kids and in, in, uh, even though they talk about, oh, we wanna have kids and all that stuff, it's not gonna happen. By the way, let me, that's me. Uh, let me look and see if they can have kids or not. I have a feeling they're not, they're not gonna be able to produce children, uh, Justin and Haley. Let me ask that, let me ask that. I'm gonna shuffle really good. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin have kids? Or are they gonna be able to have kids? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can they have kids? Justin and Haley, can they have kids? The victory card, the death card. Wow. Justin, King of Cups, Pisces, Three of Wands. So you guys heard it here. Um, look at this shit. I don't know if it's because Justin is unhealthy or if something's wrong with, with Haley, but Justin, will not be able to have kids with Haley. Maybe there's something wrong with, with Justin, I have no idea. But this is Justin, King of Cups, which is Pisces, the water sign, and then the death card. So even if they try to have kids, there's going to be 
a miscarriage or, or stuff like that. And the three of wands is this look at the character is like looking away from us and it's looking to the future and it's just wondering what the hell am I going to do? They're not going to be able to have kids. They are not going to be able to have kids. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I was just going to focus on Selena and Haley, but Justin came up. So I did this, right? I did it on Haley and then on Justin and Selena. Yeah, I did. I always forget like what the hell I'm doing and saying. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. I love you guys. Hashtag alienators. I love it. Yesterday was so much fun. And I know I was so like neurotic and I kept like moving around and it was crazy, but I had so much fun. I will maybe do another one today, later in the day to, you know, to ask some questions because I'm stuck at home. I'm bored as fuck and I want to just like talk to you guys. So maybe later in the day I will do that around five or six o'clock my time Pacific time in LA. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share and like. If you share my videos, I'll get more subscribers and views, honey. So I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, be safe, wash your hands, try not to go anywhere. Um, and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Be good and protect yourselves. Bye.